So good evening everybody, welcome to the Milton Keynes Ice Arena after something in the region of 540 odd days. Ice hockey is back on a Saturday night and it's for real this time. The season starts once more in the 2021-2022 season. And it all starts with a pre-season game against the visiting Peterborough Phantoms. And of course it has been a really long break for everybody and it's been a tough 18 months so before we start the game tonight there will be a moment's silence followed by a round of applause where everybody will be asked to put their phone lights on to remember people who were lost during the pandemic and since the last time we were here in the arena of course and also on the 20th anniversary of the terrible goings on in New York of course 9-11 when there was that terrorist attack which attacked America will be remembering all the people lost there as well. minute silence and the minute's applause absolutely impeccably carried out by here everybody here at the Milton Keynes Arena Mackenzie Cowley and Chamberlain to start Padlick and it's long and it looks like Buglass for Phantoms up front beg your pardon it's Billy uh, running the center line there good hit on the board straight away Nax, returnee to Lightning Colours of course, turns away from his man and takes the puck away, Cowley looks for the loose puck, Nax fires it centre ice but finds a blue shirt straight away, Nax picks up the return though, fires that right the way into the corner, they'll go all the way round the boards back to Cowley, just gets tangled up in feet there, Griffin, Landsberg just gets held up on the boards, Robson the did the check in that time, Lands Landsberg goes into empty spacing just in the slot. It's a blue shirt for company as well. Jameson now, Landsberg just jumps out and out, just takes a shot again. Good effort there, Jameson again just goes wide to the right hand side. Lightning looking to open the scoring. It remains nil nil with 23 seconds to go on the Lightning power play. 10 35 in this first period remain. Jameson again. Chamberlain, great drop out to the right hand side. Lashroom. Drops it again, Chamberlain. Jameson on the blue line, gives it back to Lashroom. Drops it across. Talbot just bobbled. 
couldn't quite get it on the backhand. Opportunity there was Leishram and the puck gets covered. A bit more pushing and shoving. 10.09 to go and Peterborough back to full strength. Great now looking to make space down the side of the his own bench but Barron couldn't see him on that occasion. Barron goes back to the bench and he's replaced by Long for Phantoms. And now we've got first fight of the evening. Barnes gone up. This should be interesting. And it's Barnes Garner and Gretton. 8.38 to go. Gretton throws the first punch, misses. Barnes Garner's going for a couple of body shots. He goes down. Well, there wasn't much to it. One missed punch. Oh, Gretton wants to go again. Gretton wants to go again. Well, Gretton didn't want to call that a fight. He wanted to go again. Well, it is a pre-season warm-up. Hopefully, if they're going to try and punch each other later on in the season, they'll actually connect. But if you've never seen a Milton Keynes lining Peterborough Phantoms game before, then you probably wouldn't be overly surprised that historically they can get just a little bit testy. Chamberlain shot now. Yes, and Chamberlain scores! Bottom left hand side. Bar oh, saw it late. He went past his left hand pad. 8.36 to go. Milton Keynes lighting one. Peterborough Phantoms nil. Great play by Lightning. Wins the face off straight away. It's Cowley who won the face off. Just gets it back. Chamberlain just risks it. Full pelt. It's a 1 0 game. And the crowd. It was, in fact, penalties for fighting. It was. Barnes Garner and Gretton, of course. And that's a 10 minute penalty. But the shot comes in, and Stone saw that. I think he got a pad on it. It came off the inside of the post as well. Opportunity there for Peterborough. Playing the puck down well, just drops it down deep. Robson that time round. Griffin punches it round the dash of to try and get it clear. Great opportunity to play from Torba there. He breaks away from his two men. He's on his own against Moore and he scores! Number 98, Sam Torba. Short handy goal for Mill Keynes Lightning. Picks it up in his own zone. B2 players. Straight away down. He had the legs straight away. Picks it up. Two players away from him. Goes backhand. Beats Marr on his right hand side. It's a 2 0 game. 4.41 to go in the first. Pat leg now. We need to get a hold in this game. Norton. Drops it back to Spears. Just lost sight of it. Got tangled up in his skate blade. Pat leg. Billing. Padalek again. Norton goes towards the blue line, looking for that first shot. Peterborough looking to move it around, get away from these passing lanes. Norton with the one-timer. Go, shot goes in. And he pulled one back through Tom Norton. Beats Brandon Stowers down his left-hand side. That, of course, is a power play goal. It'll bring Lightning back to full strength with 51 seconds remaining on that power play. 4-10 to go. It's a 2-1 game. Good effort out from Phantoms, moving the puck around well. Tom Norton can hit the puck when he really wants to. That puck was travelling, Stones didn't have a chance. Just inside his left-hand post. Chamberlain can't get to the puck first. Less than 20 seconds to go now. And the penalties killed by Lightning. Still a couple of hits going in here and hit went in from Chamberlain there. It wasn't a late hit. Looks like Bowering suffering with that one. I'm not entirely sure what I had there, whether, it was, whether there was a clash of heads or not, but uh, a bit testy to finish the period. The finish it does, and uh, Lightning go in at the end of the 20 minutes. The score is the AIB Milton Keynes Lightning 2. The visiting Peterborough Phantoms 1. Tom Norton having a word with the officials down there. Trying to find the other numbers at the moment. And straight away, Will Hewitt's arm goes up for a face-off infringement, but we get underway again. Norton now. 
on the right hand side tries to thread it through but it finds its way over to Ed Nags and Griffin just dinks it off the forwards field couldn't get a stick on it Billing fires it back in but Ed Nags comes away with it again in the lightning shirt Cowley just picks up the drop pass from Chamberlain field in the centre great direct there and Mar down low you want to turn there Jake Field the 17 year old Chamberlain now just drops it out front Cowley just couldn't quite pick it up as it was disrupted on his way to his stick and Spears now right hand side for Peterborough couldn't break for the team in blue but Padlack is there tidying up they face off again to the left hand side of the Peterborough goal no goals this period so far still a tight game though have calmed down a bit a little bit touchy in that first period but it seems to have calmed down a little bit now Phil couldn't quite get anything on that but he'll come back out and Foster will pick up the puck for Phantoms rides out a challenge from the arriving Callum Field Hunt arrived as well elbow looks a little bit high there but nothing called Cowley Chamberlain new glass it is providing the cover for Peterborough and it's fed out the front by Callum Field and it's captain Ross Cowley who makes it AIB Milton Keynes Lightning 3 Peterborough Phantoms 1 great play by Lightning great play by Field Cowley just fires it to the right hand side of Mar. it's a two goal lead 8.20 to go in this second period here at the Milton Keynes Arena. Leish were a little bit confused there, thought he'd been thrown out of the face-off circle. You do get a couple of ch chances in this league, of course, before they th then throw you out. Johnson, puck got away from him there. Had a quiet game, Luke Johnson, tonight. So far, it's curse of the commentator when I say things like that. Lation. Great pass straight through the middle. Norris is clear once again. He's got company and he's short Norris again. 7.34 to go. Short handed. Short Norris goes low on Jordan Maher. Milton Keynes lightning four. Peterborough Phantoms won. What a great pass. It was Lation straight through the middle. Norris just beat the last man. Got away from the challenge. Lightning once again with a sure handed goal. It's Bobby Chamberlain to fight all, all the way down the far end of the ice. Lightning will look to cover again. Here comes Peterborough, right hand side. Another shot comes in, good block from Stones and goes down low on his near post. Great save, Brandon Stones. Good work. Had a great season. And the season we had 18 months ago for Lightning. Sharing the net binding duties with Jordan Lorde, of course. Another opportunity for Peterborough. Stick line on the ice. It's a uh, stick of Ben Russell, but he'll keep doing what he's doing. And once again, it's blocked as uh, the puck went high and Stone saw that late that time round. Good work this time by Peterborough. Trying to manoeuvre that puck around the goal. 30 seconds to go on the penalty kill. <laughs> and here we go. I have no idea what happened then. Stones went in and it looked like, well, almost clotheslined by a couple of uh, white shirts, but uh, it looks like uh, somebody went in with a, with a stick maybe on uh, Brandon Stone. So as we said before, it's Peterborough against uh, Milton Keynes, it's never going to be a quiet game. And it'll be Edgar's Landsbergs down for the face off for Lightning to the left hand side of the goal occupied by Jordan Maher. Wins the face off again. Chamberlain to Cowley. Cowley looking to skate this one down low. Pollard's there along with Robson providing cover. Lightning moving the puck around well. Nice and patient this time round. McKenzie. 
Jameson, Jameson trying to get something going by firing it in, and it just comes in! And it's Russ Cowley again! 26 seconds to go in the th second period. It's a power play goal, of course. That'll bring Tom Norton back out the Peterborough penalty box. What a way to start the season for Captain Ross Cowley. AIB Milton Keys Lightning 5, Peterborough Phantoms 1. Just under 30 seconds to go. Green. Leshram. Good switch once again. Pines it into Talbot. This time round, Long. Peterborough appears to have learned their lesson and Long all over. Talbot then. Foster. Green will go in and chase. Just a few seconds to go for the buzzer. Taking us into the second period break. And as that buzzer goes. And both teams leave the ice. The scoreline is AIB Milton Keys Lightning 5. Peterborough Phantoms 1. And referee Hans is almost ready to get this third and final period up and running. Don't forget, next Saturday night, it, the Raiders are in town. 7 o'clock face-off. We will have a live stream here on Lightning TV. We'll be on air from about quarter to seven with all the action, all the build-up. Uh, for now, lining in possession to start this final 20 minutes, Chamberlain. Billing gets a hand on it, but Cowley's straight there and Field will come away with it straight away. Callum Field just tries to spin around, good effort there from the lining youngster. On Saturday the 18th, Raiders are in town, it's a cup game. The line will be looking to get their campaign off to a great start in earnest. Cowley takes it from Chamberlain. Great backhand there from Chamberlain. Great. Nice little dream there. Cowley goes backhand. And that's a brilliant goal from Cowley. Captain Cowley does it again from Bobby Chamberlain. Four minutes 20 to go. And Captain Russ Cowley on the spot once again. Coming up to the last half a minute of this final period. Peterborough just desperately throwing bodies now just to well, not to lengthen the score anymore. Mackenzie goes down. Bit of attitude for these youngsters in lightning shirts now. Into the last 10 seconds. No one's in a rush to do anything. A few ties le tied legs out there now, I'd, no doubt. Jameson just looking to run the clock down. And as the buzzer goes, we're back in hockey after over a year and a half. And the final score AIB Milton Keynes Lightning 6. Peterborough Phantoms won. Cliff, first time back for, for a long, long time. We know how frustrated everybody's been and uh, you, you've got to be happy with that performance. Yeah, I am really. Um, you know what? Um, I can't take any credit for it. Uh, you know, I've probably been able to implement 10%, if that, of, of what I need to for, for the season. But, you know, the boys worked really hard tonight. Um, you know, we had wheels all over the ice. Conditions a little bit difficult at times. It's, it's, the ice isn't great out there at the moment. Obviously, it's, it's warm outside and what have you. But you know, the, if you've got that kind of work rate, if you do make mistakes, you tend to be able to cover up for them. And, and I think that's what we did tonight. You know, the, the boys worked really extremely hard tonight. You did tinker about a little bit with the lines at first, and there were a few people moving around. But I, I guess you know, you, you've probably almost got your formula there, haven't you? Because there's 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 two and three really quick lines out there. Yeah, um, I think, you know, our team speed has gone up a lot, um, you know, and, you know, you, you've got to remember, we've still got probably one of the fastest players in the league to come back and, and join in that. So, you know, I, I've, I'm really excited about the proposition of, you know, what we can put together once we get more time together, more time under our belts, the hours of practice. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the full team on the ice, you know, getting Stewie back, 
and um, you know, and just seeing how fast and you know how fast we can we can be. We mentioned, of course, that the players' um, question, uh, you know, the players' introductions last night around how how much younger the team has become, and uh, and we did joke about maybe the older guard in there, but they're rolling back the years, aren't they? You know, Jamie had a good game tonight. Russell Cowley was brilliant. Yeah, um, I think. If you get the, the balance right, and I'm not saying for a second we know that we've definitely got it right after a one you know one challenge game performance, but if you get the balance right, the the young the young guys should be able to make the old guys feel young, and the old guys should be able to drag the young guys up and, and help them out with the experience and, and to you know to make the right decisions, to make the right smart plays at the right time. A big mention as well. They haven't been in this building for a year and a half. Just how good with that crowd tonight? Oh, phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I, you know we've got guys here playing their first ever senior game, playing their first ever senior game with a crowd, first ever game in this country. And I know that they were looking around, you know, at the start during the national anthem and stuff, and they were, they were quite taken aback by how many people are in the building. And the noise, you know, it doesn't come as any surprise to me, but I'd forgotten it, you know. Um, the last couple of minutes there with the drums and everything like that, you know, we're nothing without our fans, you know. Um, the, the club, the fans are just as much much a part of it as we are um, and we're nothing without them and the noise they made tonight was phenomenal brilliant well cliff you go again tomorrow and of course next saturday here at the milton Keynes arena it starts for real it's a cup against raiders looking forward to that yeah i think everyone in the room's buzzing for it you know um peterborough tomorrow night will be a completely different proposition a different rink completely different set of conditions and you know if we could get a result like we did tonight fantastic chances of it going similar very different yeah very unlikely it's going to be a very different game but you know I was really really impressed with what I saw tonight really pleased with the boys and a great first block in the foundation has been laid brilliant thanks Cliff all the best tomorrow cheers Chris